please subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest update and videos so this is a lab session in which we are going to understand how we can do the network setup of your vm so this is the information we have in the paper like this is the ip this is the gateway and this is the dns ip we have to you know look for the domain name here domain number so it is 9 here so the number is 9 and if you have any confusion you can type host name it is showing server9.example.com so my ip would be 172.25.9.11 now the next is how we can configure an ip to the system so first of all you need to check it out what all the interfaces you have in the paper you will have an interface name like it 0 or it 1 so don't be confused the different name which i am showing you okay so you have to allocate an ip to the interface currently the status is disconnected why it is showing disconnected because there is no ip to the ethernet card as of now once we will allocate an ip to the ethernet card or your device it will start it showing connected state so how we can give an ip to the ethernet card it's very simple the command is nmcli con add con name so that would be the same as my device name if name is also the same type is ethernet and ip 4 is my ip 192.25.9.11 subnet is 24 and gateway is also mentioned in the paper so you have to give the gateway ip as well so it's 172.125.254.254 now you can see that the connection or an IP has been allocated successfully to the Ethernet card that is EN01677736. If I again fire this command, you can see the status has been changed from disconnected, earlier it was disconnected, you can see here, has been changed to connected. Why it is showing connected? Because we have allocated an IP to the device. Now what is the next? Next is you have to, you know, allocate the DNS IP as well so how we can give the DNS IP so first of all we need to know what all the you know properties or we can say what are the different options we have with the Ethernet cards for that we have the command cmm nmcli show con and the name of ref interface it is showing an error here so the command is nmcli connection show now you can see that all the properties you can see it is showing here so i have to look for ip version 4 dns so this is the name for if you want to allocate an ip if you want to allocate a dns ip then you have to use this as a keyword we can say I'm coming out from here so the command would be nmcli con modify and the interface name is my this one you can use mod as also instead of typing the full name modify you can use mod as well and then here you have to use ip v4 dot dns and the name of dns it is 172.25.254.254 so all this information like IP and your gateway and DNS that will be mentioned in your paper. Now you can see that DNS has been added to your system as well. Next is your you have to change some modification for your IP version method to manual and also you have to mention like your connection dot auto connect should be true. It means that the entries that should be persistent or whatever the IPs you are giving it should be you know consistent if you are taking a reboot so you have to use this same command and instead of this here you have to use method manual and how you will find this it's the same command 
in the con you can look for this keyword done and also you have to one more thing auto connection dot auto connect it should be true it is same as like on boot is equal to yes okay so everything has been done now if I am firing this and will check for this interface you can see this is the IP I have allocated just now to the system and also to cross check you can go here sysconfig and look for the file this one So all the entries is showing yes here. This onboot is equal to yes. It means uh, the modification I have done for connection dot auto connect. Okay. So this was the command for that connection dot. So what will happen if you have given an IP? So this will be the IP of your system. If you will take the reboot as well. This is the IP address. This is the DNS. This is the gateway. Okay. So this is what you have to do it now and uh, one more thing you can do it here although the IP has been allocated if, it, if, it's case, if in case it is not allocating an IP you can restart the connection as well and I'm CLI con down this your interface and again up. Okay, so everything seems to fine. So this is what you have to do it. Okay. So friend, that's all for this lecture. Hope you have got an idea how we can do the network setup of your VM. And that would be your first question of your RSCSA exam. So friend, that's all for this lecture. If you have time, please join with me in the next lecture.